Hey guys, today we're going to do another simple Python program. Um, it's basically a random guessing game. Uh, you guess a random number between 1 and 10 and it'll tell you too high, too low, or if you guess it, it'll tell you you've won and then say game over. Okay, so this is another simple program that we can build and it may sound daunting at first um, when you're first starting out because you may not know exactly what to do or how to go about doing it. So the first thing we need to look at is how do we generate a random number? Well in Python if you do a quick Google search you'll see that there is a module called random and it does have a randint um, function in there that allows you to generate random numbers. So what the first thing we need to do is create a new file and then we need to from random import rand int. Okay, so we have our rand int imported, all right, from random. And let's save this file really fast so we don't forget it. Uh, we'll call it random guess dot py. And again, we'll save it to our desktop under our Python folder. All right. So now that we have imported our random integer uh, creating function, we need to set our secret answer um, that we want the user to guess to a random number between 1 and 10. So we go about doing this by typing in a variable called secret and it can be whatever you want to name it, rand int and then we'll do a range of 1 to 10. Okay, simple as that. So now that we have our random integer set to our secret, we need to um, if you want to, you can do a print statement here and just say welcome because we haven't actually displayed anything to the user yet, so this is um, the first thing we'll see and we'll set our guess to zero. Now, what we need to do is while the guess is not equal to the secret um, number that we have, so while uh, that is not equal. We need it to run a loop until we do get it to equal each other. So we'll do a while loop because that just seems to make the most sense. Guess does not equal, which in programming terms you use the exclamation point and the equal sign, does not equal secret. We will perform such and such code below that. So um, let's kind of take it uh, slower here. Um, I know I kind of zoomed through this real fast. So we're importing a random module which has a function inside called randint which creates random integers between 1 and 10. So and we set this random integer that we now created to a variable called secret. Alright, this print statement is simply just something to print onto the screen and our guess is set to equal to 0 and we can actually put that up here with that okay it doesn't really matter but to make it look neater alright so now we are using a while loop to loop through until something is true well the thing that we need to be true is guess needs to equal secret um, the reason we set guess to zero is because um, random integers won't be between zero and ten we set it to be between one and ten so it'll always be not equal in the beginning which is what we want because we want this code beneath the while statement, beneath the while loop to be run every time we start the program. So now that we have that, we're going to put g equals input. And we can actually, again, do an integer on top of that input so that uh, we make sure that their input is an integer to begin with. And we will set that to, uh, actually, we're going to set this to guess g int inputs and then we'll tell them please enter a random number between 1 and 10. Okay, so now that we have that set to guess, um, we need to do an if statement. Uh, if guess does in fact equal secret the first time that they put this number in, they win. So if guess does equal secret we need to print you win okay else so if it does not equal the secret answer the first time they input the uh, code we need to have yet another nested if statement inside of that so if 
Um, this and the reason we're doing this is to give them clues, to give them hints if they're too high or if they're too low. So inside this else, we need to have another if statement saying if guess is greater than secret, we need to print. Oops, sorry, having issues here. Too high. Else. And the reason we do an else here, um, the, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here as I'm typing. Hold on just a second. Too low. Okay. So the reason we need an else there um, is if the guess is not greater than the secret, it must be less than the secret. Um, so we will just have to put an else to say too low. If it equals the secret, then you win. So we put too low and then we'll come out of this entire while loop here and then put print game over. Now the reason we can put the game over outside of the while loop is that the while loop will not end until you win. So you won't see this game over printed until you beat the game. So let's step through this one more time. While guest does not equal secret, which we've guaranteed will happen every time you start this program because the random integer is between 1 and 10 and our guess immediately is 0. So it'll always not equal secret to start with. And then we'll take guess and set it to equal the integer input of 1 to 10. So this value right here is whatever you guys input and it will have to be an integer. It'll throw an error at you. And then if a guess does in fact equal secret when they input this number, you win. Else, if it does not equal secret, it's greater than secret, it's too high. Else, it's too low. Again, it loops through this until the condition is true, so it won't stop until the answer is correct. And that's why we don't have to put else guess is less than secret, because the, if it equals secret, you win and it's done and it comes out to this game over. So let's run this just to see if it works. <coughs> and I have an invalid syntax here. My bad, I forgot to put uh, parentheses. Um, so that was a noob mistake there. Uh, in Python 2, you don't have to have parentheses. In Python 3, you do have to have parentheses, so be very careful on that. As you saw there, um, I didn't catch it until I ran the code, so let's run it again. Okay, so it says, welcome, please enter a random number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to enter a number of 2. And it says, too low. Okay, so let's try a 5. And it's still too low. So let's try a 7. Too high. So if 5 is too low and 7 is too high, there's only one number between that, which is 6. You win, game over. Alright, so you can see that it does work, and it picks a random number each time. We'll try it again. Uh, let's start off with one. Oh, <laughs> I got it the first time. So uh, let's try this one more time. Let's see if I'm not too good at this. Okay, so um, two is too low, eight is too high, so five must be somewhere in the middle, so that's still too high. So if two is too low and five is too high, there's only two numbers in between, which is four and three, and you got a 50 50 chance of getting it, and so it was actually three. Alright, so you guys can see the program works. It is a simple guessing game. Um, again, break it down piece by piece. Don't make noob mistakes like I did where I totally forgot about the parentheses here, trying to talk and type at the same time, just not paying attention. Um, break the pieces down. Random integers can be created by using this random module. Set it to a secret answer. Make these conditions work for you um, by having this set to not or to always be true um, when you start the program. So we're always saying that guess will not equal secret as soon as the program starts, every time. And then start um, checking to see if the guess will equal secret so that you can start um, telling them if it's too high or too low or if they won. So I hope this helps, guys. It's a fun little game to play around with. It's, an, it's a nice little beginner program to play with and to learn some of the basics of Python. I'm sorry if I rambled on and uh, made that mistake there with the parentheses missing on the print, but you can see what an error looks like now in Python um, when you're using the IDLE. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below, and I'll talk to you guys next time, and thanks for watching the video.